everybody, welcome back to another Pure Chat hack video. Today I'm going to be talking with you about how to add Pure Chat to your product listings. So let's say you don't sell products on your website, you sell them on marketplaces like Etsy or Craigslist or one of the other popular ones out there. This tutorial will help you integrate live chat into that buying experience for customers. And that's especially valuable if you're selling items on a marketplace because at least on your website, people have to navigate to another website to find alternative products. But in a marketplace, if they can't find an answer to a question like, when does this ship or can I get this in a different color, they can just go back to their search results and find a different product. So that makes live chat especially useful in these situations. Now, just to show you what we're looking at right now, we do actually already have a tutorial on how to do this on our website. If you go to purechat.com slash hosted dash widget, you'll find it there. Um, but I'm actually going to show you a different method in this video, the biggest difference being that only one person can answer chats in the method that I'm going to show you. If you'd like multiple people to be able to answer chats, follow the method that's here on our website. You can just navigate to this URL. Now, to get started, we're going to go over to this uh, fake Etsy store that I created called Pure Chat Vintage, where we're selling this lovely retro polka dot dress, uh, courtesy of ModCloth, by the way, for the image. And in addition to all of the typical information that we would see featured on an Etsy product listing, like condition or measurements or shipping information, we also have this URL right here. And if someone were to paste this URL into a new tab, they're going to go to our personal chat page, which allows them to chat with us instantly. So if they have a question about one of our products, they can just go to this URL and they don't have to have our email address or our Skype or our phone number, they can just get an instant response by going to this page. And so what I'm going to do today is show you how to make one of these pages within Pure Chat. That being said, let's go over to our Pure Chat dashboard. Uh, if you don't have a Pure Chat account already, you can go to purechat.com and sign up free today. And once you get inside your dashboard, you're going to come over to your name menu and click on my personal chat. Now, here is what a personal chat page looks like before it's customized. So what we're going to do here is basically make this page look like something we would want people to see if they had a question about our product. So the very first thing you should always do is customize the URL right here. So we're going to go over here and that's the name of our store is Pure Chat Vintage. We're going to type that in and hit done. So once we have our URL claimed, we're going to come over here and change our avatar. So in this case, since we're not going to actually have it be for a person, we're having it for a brand, I'm going to put our logo in there. Now, a couple more things to customize really quick before we get to the text and some of the information is uh, customizing the background. So Pure Chat does have some stock images like this dusk. They also have a rocky island, a snowy mountain, if that has to do with what you're selling, maybe like ski gear. Uh, but in our case, it doesn't. So we're just going to choose custom background color from the drop down and make our background color. Let's say, what do we like over here? How about that right there? looks nice. And then our sidebar color. I like the dark blue, but you can change that to any other color that you would like. So once the page generally looks how you want, you're going to start customizing the text. So the first thing we're going to do is start customizing our contact information. Over here at the top, we can change our name from Ariel Hurst to, let's say, the Pure Chat Vintage Team, which sounds much more official. We can go in and enter our social profiles. So if we want people to like or follow us, we can give them the information to do that here. Plus, we can enter other important information like our website or phone number in this area as well. Now, once we've added all this key information, we're going to start adjusting things that they see when they start a chat. So let's go over here and click on our start chat layout. So in addition to asking for their name, we can also ask for their email, have them just enter their question straight away, or in our case, I'm just gonna have it start a chat automatically. So as soon as they come to the page, they'll be in a chat and I can start responding and answering questions ASAP. You can also adjust all the text in this window. I'm totally fine with the defaults. So let's skip to the end of chat screen. So now once the chat is over with, you can have people rate the chat, which in this case, I'm going to say, we don't need that. And we can have a link that tells them to do anything we want. So we could have this be 
follow us on Twitter, go back to our Etsy store, and when you click on the pencil, it'll give you the option to change the URL and the text there. In this case, I'm gonna have them go back to our Etsy store. Now that we know what's gonna happen when the chat is over, you may be wondering, well, what happens if I'm not there to chat? We do have an option for that as well. If you go over and click on the unavailable layout, you can see that we show an email form here. So that way, if people still wanna get a hold of you, they can, even though you can't chat with them instantly, it just gives them another option. Now that everything is customized how we want, we're gonna hit publish over here. And that's all you have to do. Now this page is live. If we click on it right here, we can go see the version of our page that's actually out there right now. So as you can see, we're already in a chat. And if I come over here to my dashboard, I can click on this and start responding. And then as you can see over here, there's an instant response. The customer can ask any question that they have. and we'll get a notification every single time. So it's really awesome and a super easy way for customers to get a hold of you and get those questions answered really quickly. As you saw over here, this is actually the live version of our page. We're gonna close our chat and we're gonna copy this URL and take it back over to our Etsy store. So here is our listings manager inside of Etsy. We're gonna edit our product listing and paste our URL right inside of here. Now here we already have ours because I was using it as an example, but I do want to point out that you should have some text that tells people what this link is. So for example, I wrote, if you have any questions after reading the description, paste the URL below in a new tab. It opens up a window to chat with me and I usually respond within 30 seconds. Tell people the advantage of using your personal chat page to contact you so they know, wow, I may not have to wait a day for a response. I can just wait a couple of seconds and get the answer to my question. It's really powerful in these types of situations and something I think you'll find useful as you're selling products on a bunch of different marketplaces. Thank you so much for listening today. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more tips and tricks in the future, we'd love to have you back to learn more in future videos.